Hi folks, it's Brittany from the Newton Carnegie Library and welcome to another edition of Crafting at the Carnegie. Today we're going to be making this repurposed book flower. Super cute way to incorporate your love of reading into your home decor would look awesome on a bookshelf or anywhere you want a little literary magic. Um, this is part of our Grab and Go Adult Crafts Kit series. So if you were able to snag one of those kits, you have absolutely everything you need for this project. If not, that's totally fine. It's easy to find most of the supplies for this project. So the first thing you'll need is a book. Old books are great. They're really easy to break in half. I've just broken it in half at the binding. Just guesstimated. Now this book was made from a book cut further in half. So I cut, I broke the book, it was like this, and I broke it in half like this. And then if you want to cut it in half, you would probably need a handsaw to get this binding. Um, then you could get one that sits like this. But I'm gonna make a longer one, and they're still great, especially if you need to have a little bit of a deeper area to sit them. So first thing you'll need, book. The next thing you'll need, I don't have to show you, but you can see that I used it on this one, is some paint. Our kits came with copper paint, totally optional if you would like to do that. You could use any color paint, black, yellow, red, you name it. Um, the possibilities are pretty endless. So you could paint, and then you also have a paintbrush if you have a kit. You also need some glue for this project. We used clear tacky glue, that's what I'll be using today, and it's what's in our kits. So you have lots of glue and then some Q-tips for applying. If you're doing this at home and you buy the clear tacky glue, just use the bottle. It'll be way easier. And even better, if you have a hot glue gun, use a hot glue gun because you won't need the wait time. But if you are using a liquid glue, then you will need two rubber bands, which you should have. And then you'll also need a button for the middle of your flower. So let's get started. So the first step, if you're gonna paint your book, is to paint the book. <laughs> so you would just take your paint, you would just take your paint and paint along all of the edges and allow it to dry. And it will cause some of the pages to stick together, but it won't really matter. You'll be able to estimate at the end and it won't be a big issue. Since I painted this one, I did paint both sides, then I've decided to not paint this one. Um, it's hard to tell with the lighting, but it has a nice kind of yellowing older look to it, which already looks pretty rustic-y. So I'm just gonna let it be how it is. So once you paint, if you're doing that step and you allow it to dry, you're gonna want to figure out how big you're gonna make each petal. So you're gonna take each half and you're gonna count how many pages. So Okay, so I have 42 pages here, and then we're gonna divide that by six, to get our six petals, so six divided by 42 is seven. So that's how many pages I'm gonna use for this half of the book to make each petal. And then I would do the same thing with this half of the book. So now it's time to start making our petals. So I've counted, and mine are about even, so I'm gonna make seven pages for each petal for each half of my book. So I'm just gonna start by counting out. And again, if you paint it, it may stick together. Just try to guesstimate and it'll be fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're gonna work from right to left, which I know is probably showing opposite for you, but right to left. And then we're gonna take the pages and we're gonna fold towards our left. So towards the rest of the book to make our petal. But before we do that, we're gonna either use a line of glue, whether you're using the bottle or a hot glue gun or your Q-tip and your glue. And you want to use a pretty hefty amount. And you want it both in the, there we go, lighting, the crease of the book and along the edges. This is such a great way, if you have a book you love, but you know you're not going to read it anymore, maybe it got damaged um, by water or tore, maybe it's one of your kids' books. That would be so cute for a kids' book in a nursery. It's a great way to repurpose these or getting an inexpensive one from a thrift store. Or you can always come in the Carnegie and ask us. We may have some books we're able to give you. All right, so now that I have my good thick layer of glue, I'm just going to fold it again towards the crease. I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna let it go, and then I'm gonna repeat the process for my next petal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I'm going to add my next layer of glue.
then again, folding it to the left. Pulling it down for a few minutes, make sure I'm pushing in my other pedal. And then I'm gonna keep that process until I get to my sixth pedal. I had to think for a second, my sixth pedal. And then I will see you all back here to show you because it just changes up just a little bit. All right, we're back. And as you can see, I've made all five of my pedals. And now it's time for my last one. And I don't want to count this one because it should be correct. So for the last pedal, you're actually going to fold it to the right. So it's going to share a space with your fifth pedal. So we already have a layer of glue in there for that fifth pedal, but we're going to add another layer to make sure this sixth one stays. generous with my glue here okay so again we were folding to the left now we're gonna fold to the right I'm gonna hold it for a second make sure it's nice and in there and I'm going to hold the petals together while they dry to make sure they stay in with a rubber band. Now again, if you're using the hot glue, you don't need to do that. You can probably just hold them for about 30 seconds or a minute and they will be ready to go. But with a tacky glue, you're probably going to want to let it dry. I would say for at least an hour, an hour to three hours, or you can make this a two part craft and let it dry overnight if you want to make sure. Um, but just about an hour or so, we'll come back and check it. We're just gonna let this hang out and dry and then we're going to repeat the process with our other half of the book doing the same thing working from right to left folding to the left with our petals except the last one which we will fold in to the right you back when it is these are all dry and it is time to assemble our flowers welcome back folks so it's been a few hours and our books are pretty dry so now we're just going to remove the rubber bands and you're going to keep one handy for the next step And now we're just going to glue the two tops of the books together, like so. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you line them up. And you're gonna to wanna to pick the sides that work best together. So these match up. And now you're going to put a line of glue, go a line of glue down the middle. And again, just like our previous steps, you're gonna be very generous with your glue. And I also like to put some along the edges and not just in the middle. I've also put some glue along the sides of my other book half. And again, I wanna make sure I'm matching these up correctly. And then I'm going to press down. Hold them together for a few seconds. Give it a hug. And just really press down on those pages so they can connect. And then I'm gonna take my rubber band, preferably your biggest rubber band. I'm going to rubber band them together to allow them to dry. And this I would allow, I would recommend you allowing them to dry overnight or a few hours. You can go and check it if you're doing this earlier in the day. But you do want to make sure that they are staying connected. Another idea if you're worried about staying connected, you could take some paper clips and clip the edges of your flower right here and right here to help it stay together until it gets glued again. If you're using hot glue, this won't be as much of an issue, but definitely something to consider if you're using a clear glue like we are. Go. Perfect, all right. So we'll see you back when it's time to add the finishing touch. 
All right, folks, we are back. It has been 24 hours. It's time to take the rubber band off of our book flower. And it's all nice and sturdy and ready to sit. And as you can see, here's the difference. So this is the book that was cut in half. And then this is the one that was left whole. And obviously it's all gonna vary depending on the book that you use. But you can see that both work beautifully. Now it's time to add the button for the middle of our flower. And we're just gonna decide which one we like it better on, which side looks better to us. And this side's a little more weathered, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm just gonna stand it up. And this part's really easy. You're just gonna add a little bit of glue on your button, and then stick it in the middle. Let it dry, and then you are ready to display your shelf sitter.